Hi, I'm Brad Thrasher and this is my uh, demonstration project for ECE 535, Design of Electromechanical Systems. The project that I have here for you guys today is a quick demonstration on electrostatic separation. Uh, we did a homework problem on this in homework one. I did a little research on it afterwards because um, it intrigued me and so I decided to do my, my project on this. So the project or the demonstration I have here for you guys today is just something simply uh, with household items that um, lie around the house um, that you can find pretty easily. First thing we're going to have here is a wool sweater. The second thing we have is this good old big bag of peanuts. And then we've got some balloons here, courtesy of your friends at Harris Teeter. Uh, they were very nice and donated me a couple of free balloons. So the, the basic of the basic goal of this project is to separate the skins of the peanuts from the actual nut themselves. Uh, we're going to do that by using the balloons as a, uh, as a conductor to create uh, some attracted electrostatic forces uh, to pick up the skins. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take the skin, we're going to take the peanuts out, the shell here, and just rub it around here. Give it a little charge um, and let it fall to the ground. So we'll do two peanuts here. So and the reason why there needs to be some sort of charge on these um, on the skins is the Coulomb's law. We know that the force on on the, on this item is going to be uh, is going to be the charge times the electric field. So we need to charge it up, charge it up just a little bit. So the next thing we're going to do, the first demonstration we have, is we're going to take a balloon, we're going to charge it up just very lightly um, to see what kind of response we get on, on a small magnitude of, on, the, on the charge and really the electric field. So just a little, a little pause here, or a little, a little rub here, and we'll put it over the peanuts and you can see nothing really happens. Um, it's a very little charge was created as on the surface of this balloon. Um, so you, you would not expect anything to actually happen. So that's going to lead us to the second, the second test here. We're going to take the green balloon and we're going to have this charged up by my lovely assistant here, my wife. She's got a lot more hair than I do so this should work out a lot better uh, for me. So we can really we can really kind of make a general assumption um, that the uh, that the balloon we know from Gauss's law that the charge is going to reside on the surface and that the force the force exerted um, from that charge is or if we consider this spherical which it's kind of <laughs> um, that that force is going to decrease um, by the radius or by the radius squared. Um, so when we actually when we actually zoom in close here, um, or is this charged up enough? It looks it looks charged up. Enough. You can see all the skins jump up onto the charged surface. Um, so we can pull that away. Everybody will get a good look at that. So then we can we can zoom back into the peanuts. And you can see the majority of the skins are are completely taken away and have have come up to the to the balloon. The reason, obviously, the reason why um, the skins have jumped up here is there's an attractive force um, between the balloon, which has a very strong charge on it um, from the static electricity generated from rubbing it on your hair, to the very gently charged uh, skins. Since they're also lighter, it's easier for that electric field to pick it up, to negate the normal, you know, to overcome the normal force. With the peanut, it's much heavier. It's going to take a much stronger magnetic field to really pick that thing up. Um, that's pretty much uh, all we have here. So uh, thank you for, uh, for taking a look at this, and uh, good luck the rest of the semester.